I'm going to do a, a poem called um, The Banker's Bonus. I'm just a passerby, but I'm a poet, and this is a good opportunity for me to share something with you. And uh, I've got a book coming out at the end of this month, which will be available in Waterstones down there. It's called The Banker's Bonus. My heart bleeds for city bankers, having to cut back on their toys, all them London geezer wankers and jumped up Essex boys. Having to cut back on their fancy cars, only putting 20s, not 50s down strippers' bras. Champagne, cocaine, big fat cigars in shitty fucking titty bars. I've got absolutely no sympathy that a banker's lifestyle quality, like having to give up the country home or the luxury Chelsea pad, or deleting the mistress off the phone doesn't make me all that sad. Their bonuses should be cut, made against the law because they're picked from the pockets of the poor whose unauthorised overdrafts cut them 30 pounds a time or more. And as for the refusal of money of Stephen Fester, Hester, it wasn't a noble moral gesture, but the backlash of much public pressure in light of adverse media conjecture. <laughs> Fred the Shred deserves a mention, failing yet claiming a massive pension, because yeah. whilst on the subject of monetary retention, cutting nonsense like this would be a smart invention. Yeah. I know you won't hear me, David Cameron, or your nodding sidekick, Nick, but you should demonise the bonus, not the poor on benefits. Yeah. And create some jobs on your own front door before planning an Iranian war and stop writing off billions in tax abroad in a cows offshore. I've digressed, I've moved away from the banking industry, but we need to, it would be a bonus to get some fairness today across our whole society. Thank you. I can't really remember that one, so there was a, a few glitches, but thanks for listening.